Okay, Muhammad, this is is this this is your first world team ever? Yep. Right? Yes. You're a late starter, right? Yeah. Uh, I came into college early, but then finished early. And when I was in college, I really didn't do anything extra. Just school and wrestle. So. So you get it. So you you got a bachelor's degree at age 18. That's yep. like pretty impressive. How how'd you manage that? Uh, honestly, I just have to thank my parents and my family, my sister. Older sister especially. Uh, of course, that's when they helped keep me on track, keep me focused. Uh, let me know what I had to do to help me do it. You just wrapped up your uh, master's too? Yep, around a year ago. So what was that in? XS Physiology. Very cool. John Stutzman's a hard guy, man. He's hard-nosed. He's, he's, he's blue-collar through and through. Yep. Um, if you're loyal to John Stutzman, he's very loyal back. Yes. What's your relationship like with him, and what's it like having a mentor like that? Honestly, I couldn't thank him enough. Um, what he's done for me throughout these past few years, even just letting me come back in the room after I graduated, uh, and giving me that support that I needed to keep wrestling. So without him, I probably wouldn't be here. World Championships. What do you got to do to win a medal? Work. That sums it up. Work, uh, get some, some higher level matches in, a lot of mat time. Uh, like I said, I'm starting this a bit late. So, especially with freestyle, uh, I gotta learn some stuff. So, hopefully I'll be around a lot longer. How long ago did you start wrestling? How old I were started you? when I was six. Okay. Uh, but I was homeschooled through high school. So I didn't wrestle in high school. Uh, and started college. What were keys for you in this tournament? I'm sorry? What were keys for you in this tournament? Uh, keeping my head clear, staying focused. I'm uh, not losing my mind, going crazy, like doing stupid stuff. Uh, that's been a, a, big, a big improvement. Yeah, I'll make them uh, do the fish. Previous tournament, even just the last tournament I was at. So. I don't know. Last year, Smythe uh, got on the team for Buffalo. Uh, this year, it's you. Uh, what does that mean to the program? The program's grown. Uh, every year, we've gotten better. Uh, hopefully, it'll continue to get better. They haven't had an All-American yet, nope. right? And, and John Stutzman's push is really hard for it. Is there any question in your mind that someone's going to punch through and get it done Not for the all. Buffalo Bulls? No. Nope. Are you no going question. to stick around? I'm sorry? What do you do now? Do you stick around? Do you just go into wrestling? What do you do? Like Pentelio, the guy two weights below you. That's what he does for a living now. He wrestles. You've got two degrees. What are you going to do for a living? Hopefully I want to wrestling. I probably start my like personal training coach and kind of stuff. Um, wrestling is, is what I want to do. So, so um, they, we have like Abinator, Dominic Abinator, he's a dual citizen. Do you have dual citizenship anywhere? No, no. No dual citizenship? Yeah, so that we have like Cliff Keen's got a bunch of guys with dual citizenship. Is that something you could, could you go get dual citizenship? Possibly. My grandmother's from Morocco. Um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure how that would work. Is it something, now that I'm bringing it up, is it something that interests you a little bit? I don't know. I mean, Morocco's not big with wrestling. At least freestyle, maybe they got a few record guys, but I don't know. I think if I grind enough and keep working, I'll be able to crack through. Hey, man, good luck at the World Championships. Thank you.